This is Mark. Hey, Mark. It's, this is Aaron and Todd and Jason from KUHS. How are you? I'm well. How are you? We're fantastic. We were trying our, um, you know, I told you last week my computer is broken, so we don't really have a way to, to make a, uh, a flat Earth update theme song yet. So we just <laughs> we, we just kind of wing it. It's 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 a lot of fun. I I, I can imagine. <laughs> See, it's, it's because he's he's using one of those Macs from when, um, you know, what's his name was alive. Steve oh, Jobs. when yeah. when Steve Jobs was alive. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So see, isn't it isn't it weird how it went kaput? Yeah, yeah. Right I used now. to. I was a Big Mac guy for a long time. I I had one of the first iMacs way back in the day. I personally was a Whopper guy. <laughs> uh-huh. Whopper from there? Whopper yeah, from see what War I did Games. There? Oh, you said Big Mac guy? I was a Whopper guy. I was a McRib guy. Oh, I got you. See what I, I did you, there? I, got you. I see what you did. <laughs> hey, man, real quick, before we go any further, I just want to throw this out there because your YouTube commenters are driving me bananas, <sighs> and I'm sure you mute it. You don't even watch or read or listen, do you? Well, I, I actually have to sleep at night, so no, I do not read the YouTube oh, comment God. section. They're bananas, and there's one guy that's like, he's just out to get us, and I just want to say, dude, that's out to get us. Yeah. I challenge you, call into the station next week, 501-627-0711. Call in, we'll put you on the air, and we can have a conversation about well, Flat Earth. Well, you're going to have to be a little more specific than that. I mean, you can you can li- name his YouTube channel. It's okay. I don't know who he I, I, don't, I don't pay that much. Oh, my God, are you kidding? So it's like, oh, person that's trolling us, <laughs> call yeah, into the just... station. Do you know how many phone calls you're going to get? <laughs> troll a call into the station. You might as well get a separate phone line for the trolls now. It's like anyone who wants to troll us, please call into the station. Hey, you know, hey, we welcome it. We we don't we, get that many calls. We do welcome it. it yeah, not. people are afraid. They're afraid to call in here. I don't know why. Mm. We're really nice guys. I I I I, I can vouch for that. Sure. There you go. The yeah. Mark Sergeant vouches for our niceness. It's true. <laughs> true. So you guys have always been fair with me. I I haven't felt anything horrible from you. Correct, yeah. and that's that's how we like to roll. So what's going on in Flat Earth's world right now? What's happening? I just flew back from a very successful Flat Earth conference in Calgary, which is in Alberta, Canada. Wow. And it was it was put on from a, by a wonderful woman named Sarah Stewart, and uh, we had about 120 people, and I think eight speakers from different parts of the country, and it, it went off without a hitch. It was, it was really, really fun, and I, I just loved all the people of... Alberta, Canada. Go figure. Have, what, go figure. What have, was successful about it? Uh, what well, happened? Well, I mean, it, what I mean by successful is, I mean, everybody was, I mean, it was, it's a, it was a really charged up, enthusiastic audience. Uh, got a lot of good points across and met a lot of people. I mean, it's, a lot of it's about networking. And uh, whenever we can do a conference and there's no heckling or the media doesn't give us any grief, um, and, we're, and we're seeing that more and more, you know, it's, it's becoming more and more accepted. I mean, the conference just came, you know, went like, it's like, oh yeah, by the way, we're at Flat Earth Conference in Calgary. It's, it was wonderful. I, I loved it. So a lot of people, it seems, are really upset um, that you, that, that uh, like Flat Earth theories are anti-science. Right. I've noticed a lot of that. And, uh, and um, it, are those the type of people that show up and heckle you or are these just there's Jerks there's some opposition like like when I went to the the New Zealand conference a few weeks ago yeah. down in Auckland there was actually a group of four scientists that showed up as opposition and uh, went into a debate with us and we actually we said all right if you guys are going to be here we will schedule you know an hour and a half I think we had like ninety minutes with them and they went up and made per, you know made their points but of course they were in hostile territory because the entire audience was was flat Earth so it must have been different for them you know rather than like a classroom setting. So, yeah. but, but it's okay. I mean, we, we encourage opposition, no different than the, the documentary Behind the Curve, which had, you know, a scientist and a psychologist and an astrophysicist. And heck, Scott Kelly was in it. We actually got to interview Scott Kelly, the, yeah, uh, yeah, the yeah. American astronaut. So Okay. So, yeah. but you had no hecklers up in Alberta. No, no. And, and just so you know, yeah, the, the anti-science thing, unfortunately, the, uh, I consider it kind of a part of a side effect. Of flat Earth, but we didn't necessarily invent anti-science, but we're sure certainly pushing it. And and just so you guys know, again, I'm not anti-science, but I am anti-scientism. So again, you probably heard me say, look, if you want to if you want to tell me what the boiling temperature of water is at sea level, fine, I can test that myself. If you want to tell me what the core of the Earth looks like, and not so fast. Uh, you've never been there, you haven't even been close. And there's lots of examples along those lines. 
Um, Interesting. Do, okay. Do Are we, you, oh, oh, so we have a we have a regular caller that calls in. His name is Doc. We, we call him Doc Holiday. Okay. Um, he, he's an actual real doctor guy. Oh, okay. Uh, he he asked me when we couldn't get we couldn't reach out to you uh, when you were in Auckland. Um, yeah. He he did call in and say, "Hey, um, will you ask uh, the Sarge if?" <laughs> Uh, what his uh, what his opinions are of vaccinations, and so I've I failed to do that last week because I forgot about it, but okay. I remember just now. So okay. wh- where are we with that? Okay, well, I mean, for, not for, with flat earth, by the way. No, no. That, just... for, first and foremost, my primary goal is, is flat earth, and I I don't generally, even though I have an opinion on just about every conspiracy, including vaccinations, I don't go into it. But if you ask, of course, I I, I am obligated to answer in one way or the other. I'm not going to dodge it. Um, do I have an opinion on vaccinations? Yes, I do. Uh, and you, usually most people don't want to hear it because it makes total sense, which is, look, the, let, let's face it. The autism rate has gone from one in 10,000 to one in 40, and it's done it very, very quickly. Okay. The The general public wants to blame something or someone. I mean, it's, it kind of goes along the lines of mob rules, which is like you can't just shrug your hands if you're signed say we don't know that the, the mob doesn't want that so if it's not food or air or water which are all regional you know we all know that and they, they wi- differ widely just you know from state to state or even county to county who's your next best suspect and the next bet next best suspect is vaccines i mean it's it's that really simple. okay oh yeah i mean i'm not kidding look let me make it i'll make it easier for somebody this will make sense <laughs> and no seriously when when i was growing up granted i'm older uh i i think i got six vaccines total and that just got increased more and more and more big pharma realized there was a lot of huge money in getting a mandatory drug introduced into the population but the problem is is when you have 30 vaccines you it's really really hard to test all those 30 against each other and the eight blood types and two genders and the different age ranges and so if there is a problem the the law, lawyers rules apply which is the lawyers say deny 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 until they absolutely have you and that's the stage they're in right now. Uh, the, okay. the, every pharmaceutical company knows this. It's like, if you're, okay. if, that's just it. They're avoiding class action. Nope, that's it. That's All my right. opinion. Well, there you go. We got, so, Doc, so Doc got his answer. Do you okay. get flu shots? Do you ever get a flu shot? Nope. Nope. No. But that's, I, I'm just not a big fan of that anyway. I mean, I see the signs, you know, in the malls, free flu shot. It's like, eh. <laughs> Doesn't do, you know? I, I I catch a bug every once in a while, but uh, yeah, I, I I know there's an uptick in measles because of this. I I personally know of quite a few families that are doing this, and and of course it's risky. But uh, we're going to tell you, there's no easy answer here. Yeah. There okay. So before we before we completely piss off your YouTube audience, YouTube audience, let's get back to okay. flat earth. Okay. <laughs> They're already going to be livid that we that we veered. The no, 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 it's fine. No, well. I, I get I get asked that. Believe it or not, every once in a while, and the mainstream media, most mainstream media, will not will not run it. They'll they will delete the, that what I just said. They'll they'll cut it out because wow. Uh, yeah, look, well, big, I think you get a lot of people angry. Well, I mean, look what happened. Remember Robert De Niro when he was going to run that uh, at his film festival? But he was going to run the the documentary called Vaxed. and That's just right. and Big Pharma called him up and said, you know what, you do this, we will destroy you. And your legacy, yeah. and that was it. He, he crumbled. So if that well, could we, happen, we don't we don't need Jenny McCarthy coming down and and, and beating us up. There so you go. Move, good good reference, that. by the way, Jenny. Because she's I, I I really like Jenny McCarthy. Believe it or not, sure you do. Well, I mean, how many <laughs> how many really intelligent Playboy models are there who can also handle a crowd? I I, I just dig that. We all, we we all saw her uh, Playboy spreads when we were kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. I read it for the articles. I, yeah, I didn't actually. I, I didn't actually about her mind. Picks. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Nothing about her mind. No offense, Jenny. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> she doesn't listen to the show, so well, actually, she she's does. not offended. She's not offended at all. She doesn't no. care. No. So this is what we're really here for. So we've we okay. got our flatters update, which was basically consisted of. You had a great time in uh, Canada. Oh, in Calgary, yeah. I'm sorry. The Calgary conference well, we... was great. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, a couple other quick things. Um, I am in the process of writing my second book. Uh, the flat, the All second, right. yeah, the second version of Flat Earth Clues. The first one was called Flat Earth Clues: The The Sky's the Limit. The second one, uh, I'm not going to tell you the title; it's a secret, but it's going to be Flat Earth Clues something. And then I'm just getting re- there's a couple documentaries that are coming down the pipe in the summer, and then getting ready for the madness that is September because I'm going to four conferences in September. Three of them are international, and then wow. one of them's in uh, Mount Shasta, California. Okay, wait, 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 wait,
What months were these documentaries? Oh no, that that's going to be we're going to be shooting those in the summer, starting now. Oh, you're going to be all, shooting those. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. They're Very they're cool. not going to be released anytime soon. We're going to be shooting those oh. in the summer, uh, and hopefully they'll be. Who knows when they're going to release? I mean, the behind the curve took three months just to edit. So whenever. I'm sure. But, I was going to say he needs to come back down here for the uh, documentary film. Hopefully he will, and we'll get to have him on yeah. in, in the studio on oh, the. Oh, I would love would it. Awesome. If, if, seriously, if if we get to go down, well, I I don't think we can move that fast. But yeah, whenever the uh, the Hot Springs, what do they call it? The Hot Springs Festival. Hot Springs Documentary Film Festival. Yeah, yeah. I I really enjoyed do, doing that. As I I there was some great hospitality there. I I love that so much. So if town. I get a chance to come town. down, I'll, I'll totally meet you, meet up with you guys. Uh, yeah, you will. Damn it, I'll make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get into what we want to talk. What we wanted to share with you tonight, and that is that Todd and I have been brainstorming for the last week since we spoke last last Monday yeah. about the about the GoFundMe thing. We really want to um, put together this GoFundMe to send you to space. Send we want to, to space. send you to space. We man. want to send you to space. Oh, and, and on now the there's Blue Origin. And now there, yeah, I was about to say now there's a new player with Blue Origin, of course. Yes, and that's the plan here. Is that I think, and I think it, it's. It's only to uh, because you're the guy. You're you're the, you're the flat Earth guy. Oh, okay. You're the guy that everybody yeah. like looks to for information. I mean, and, you're so, and, I mean, and I'm willing to be a martyr for flat Earth. So I'm one of the guys that's just crazy enough to actually get into the rocket if if they want to get put into me in the, the rocket and go up there. Now let let's let's just say hypothetically this happens, and we've 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 done the research and we reached out to Jeff, and uh, it's going to be about two hundred thousand dollars that we're going to need to raise in order to get you into Blue Origin and up into space. Okay. Now, what I want to drop know, in the bucket. It's a drop in the bucket, yeah. I, I'm, I'm honestly, <laughs> I'm, if you can pull it off for two hundred grand, I would be so impressed because I think that's a little little light. But what, we're, gonna, we're, we're going to. I am, I am a go-getter, Mr. Sergeant. I mean, he, he, may, he may do it just for the press. To be honest, I mean, I mean, it's like he could kill flat Earth if he put, you know, if he put somebody in in that capsule and sent him to the moon. Exactly my sentiment. So that's my question to you, Mark. Yes. If you did, if this did happen, let's just say hypothetically, twenty twenty is it twenty twenty four or twenty five? Uh, it's twenty four. Twenty four. Sending it up. Twenty four. Twenty twenty four. Twenty four. Yeah. So when 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 this happens, and it is going to happen, okay, and and you and you have your ticket, yeah, and b believe me. Stranger things have happened that I've gotten at, involved with, Mark Sargent. You don't know me that well yet, but you will. Uh -huh. uh, I, I've got a long, uh, I've seen a lot of crazy history. things. I've seen a lot of crazy crap in hey, my life. I, I'm and not going to doubt you. I'm not going to doubt you. I wake up every day with flat Earth. How could I possibly doubt you? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So my question to you is: no. Let's just say hypothetically, this happens. You yeah. get your ticket. You, yeah. you board the plane. Yeah. You fly into space. Yes. You look down and you see that the Earth is round. Okay. What happens well, next? I quit flat Earth and I tell everybody that we're wrong and I get a giant, very expensive bottle of whiskey. I get drunk. I wake up the next day hungover and <laughs> start my life again. That's nice. what I do. No, I mean, and I, I they're not going to believe it at all. By the way, we're drinking red wine or white wine tonight. Uh, actually, I'm not having either. I'm just having lemonade tonight. <laughs> it's I'm oh, okay. really low key okay. tonight. <laughs> uh, but I, no, no, seriously, the, uh, I watched one of the uh, hot potato uh, episodes here recently, and you were drinking red wine. Oh and yeah, you, well that that's because uh, uh, Patricia uh, deep too, man. I was like, that's a big glass of wine. Yeah, <laughs> well, when, when Patricia says, "Oh, we're gonna do a, a glass, you know, a, some, an alcohol show," but the thing is, you know, it's she only oh, has. Wait a, wait a minute. What <laughs> she actually says that we're gonna do an alcohol show. Yeah, yeah, she'll call me up and say, "Okay, we're gonna be drinking during this." The show but the thing but when she says that it's a cop-out because she only has one drink now granted she's a hundred pounds soaking wet so a one drink for her is quite a bit and so i yeah. have to kind of match and uh, you know i still look for her to like break character and she hardly ever does but and you but, bury a bottle of wine in the meantime <laughs> yeah but 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 to your point uh, you know people asked me at the at the conference i was just at that you know that we were talking about what would it take for me to get fl quit flat earth and all that stuff and i and i i thought of something recently it's like look every day i try to kill flat earth and every day i fail and it's been going really? that way for for four years, and every and a wow. lot of people in flat Earth feel the same way. We'd love to destroy it. We all try to destroy it. So if somebody wants to put me up in space to kill flat Earth, <laughs> sign me up. Absolutely. Okay. If you guys want to help, well, we're going to work on it. We're oh, going to yeah. work on it now. And hopefully, your YouTube fans are listening right now, and they're saying, "Okay, these guys are for real." 
Because there's a lot of people on your on your on your channel that comments on these interviews, and they're just very against everything we're talking about. Well, uh, now are you sure they're they're flat earthers, or do you think they're trolls? Because I get a lot of both. I don't know what they are. They just seem to be like very angry about the fact that we're that they, 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 they come down on us at, here at the station, they're trolls and they come they... they come down on you for being like anti science. Oh, it's, oh, it's okay. Just like just shut up, you guys. Let us talk. Yeah. We're just doing a thing. It's very everyone's it's, got to have an opinion. It's very polarizing. I mean, most of the flat earthers, <laughs> I think, are. I mean, I think the flat earthers that are listening know that that you know. I I mean, I've done quite a few interviews with you guys, and everything's everything's cool. I I, I there's no animosity now there are a lot of trolls though that say yeah if you're helping facilitate anti-science rhetoric which Correct. which isn't good and yeah those but those people pff, screw them <laughs> yeah one guy one guy, one guy said that that, that, you, that you you're paying us we work for you oh yeah 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 that's <laughs> I was like actually we don't why don't you call us at the station let's go yeah well, yeah he is, I, I, I didn't get a check i didn't i haven't got a check yet either Damn it's, it, Mark, it's in the money? mail don't worry about it I, I, maybe that's what all those stacked up letters are i, I could have screwed up the zip code i'm not sure it, it's uh it, it'll be there <laughs> Someone out of one. I was yeah. gonna send most, it on it. No, no, troll, trolls trolls accuse me of everything. I I've, right. I've been accused of being everything from an agent from just about every alphabet agency you can think of to a Hollywood yeah. executive. I was accused of being a large Jewish woman a few weeks ago. <laughs> so <laughs> How does that work? I don't. Yeah, I know. I'm thinking. What first off, it's like, why do they have to be Jewish? <laughs> it, it, yeah, but, right. Yeah, it's like because I I I, yeah, I just scream large Jewish woman when anyone sees me. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. That's the do. first thing I thought when I heard That's your voice, really. Exactly. I thought you were wow. using a vocoder of some sort. I know. <laughs> what, they, they see, like, the, the mark on my head where I took off my yarmulke? Come on. It's the mark of the beast, yeah. Do you have a tail? It's th By the way, I, no, no. It look, it, it's three nines, all right? That's way different than three sixes. Uh, okay. <laughs> Forgive me. I'm yeah. Sorry. So right on. So we are going to work on this GoFundMe campaign. Yeah. It's going to happen. Yeah, we're gonna well, send come you, on. We're gonna send it, you to space. You, oh, if you want, if you want, all right. I, and I, great, fantastic. If you can develop some sort of dialogue with Jeff Bezos, fantastic. I think he's still, he's still more in the pipe dream phase because he he wants to one up Elon Musk. And get a remember, he released his thing about the same time NASA released something. Um, in fact, you could look this up on YouTube. It's called "We Are Going." You could type that into YouTube. Just type in "We Are Going." And NASA has now made this recommitment that, like, they're going to the moon now, for real this time, and they're going to stay yeah. there. They're going to set up a base. Yeah. That's, 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 the, that, that's the plan. Yeah, that's the plan. We're gonna, they're going to set up a base. Well, Jeff Bezos is, uh, but that's NASA, not Jeff Bezos. NASA is also saying this. So it's like, okay, what's, what's the big well, that, push here? That's because of the new guy. You know, the new guy that was, you know, friends with the orange guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, only they know space. Right. They're the best at space. The best, yes. yes. The best at space. So, right. so, so at any rate, that's the plan. Okay. I, I, think that Je I think Jeff Bezos will make it happen. All right. And I, I think that we are going to, we are going to, work on our GoFundMe thing and try to put it all together and really want to promote it. We really all right, want to all right. It it, seriously, there. I will, you know me, I will do it. Absolutely, I will do it. If 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 you guys can figure out a way to to create a minor miracle here, I will absolutely do it. And, and a, I will it be a minor man of my miracle. word. Look, it's a it, minor I miracle. Say, yeah, yeah. It, it is. It really is. I mean, because I and Todd knows this about me. I am the guy that's like, I want to see aliens, but I haven't seen one yet. So I'm right. I I I, I believe, but I, I I need to see it. I want to see it. That's what GoFundMe is. I'm the same, so, same with big, Bigfoot. I want to see a Bigfoot. So you, Will somebody please find some Bigfoot scat for me to look at? I'll smell it. So you may I'm not ready. be able Let's to go. turn, with, so, as far as the minor miracles, you may not be able to turn water into wine, but you could probably turn it into a margarita, maybe. <laughs> turn water into wine or turn water into a margarita. I, 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 either one. <laughs> I'll take either. <laughs> I had too many margaritas oh, yesterday, actually. I'm feeling a little rough around the edges today. I'd rather have the margaritas than the wine, but anyway. Yeah, too many tannins. Yeah. <laughs> well, tannins. well, all right, so Mark, we're, we're going to let you We're gonna let you get out of here, okay. man. It's been a fun chat. Cool. I don't, and if you're going to be around, if you're going to be, there's a man running around outside the studio right now with his shirt off. Um, and he, keep, he keeps pointing at us and screaming. I don't know what he's got going on, but. Uh, on a Monday? might be a. Yeah, on a Monday. On a he's just Monday. out there running around. He's, well, he has flat earth written on his chest. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> he, he came by twice now. I don't know what's going on, but he's, he's a maniac anyway. <laughs> Is this kind of thing what you deal with a lot? I mean...
Who me? Weirdos and stuff. That, no, like, yeah, paint a few, a few at the conferences. Like the one in Calgary wasn't wasn't bad, but the the like the big conference in Dallas. Oh yeah, we're expecting some craziness. Sure, sure. When's the Dallas one again? November. In November. Dang it! I'm going to be down there in October. Really? Yeah. Well, but I'm, I'm I'm going to going to see a rock and roll show. Oh. Uh, uh, well, we think about it. Out, if you get if you get a chance. I mean, it's going to be a wild time. We don't sleep for basically four days. So. <laughs> wow. Yeah. People get sure, really, really excited. Is that the meth or the coffee? Oh, uh, it's, <laughs> it's it's a lot of everything. Combination of both. Honestly, I'm think. amazed the people down there can even listen to the sessions because they're just so wired. But, wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> awesome <laughs> all right dude we're gonna let you go man okay. uh, thanks again for letting us call you and coming on our radio show i really appreciate oh, yeah, it yeah yeah happy to do um, it and uh let me let me tell you let me tell your your your, your youtube commenters that are gonna comment yeah call in next week i i challenge you give, give me the phone give me the phone number again Two seven zero seven eleven. one more time 501-627-0711 yeah. awesome okay right yeah. tell them to call into this station and, and we'll chat about this flat earth thing. We'll talk about it all night. Those stinking trolls, they won't call in. They're scared. They are. <laughs> they can comment all day, right? Well, you know, you can call in and so, well, I don't know what your call board looks like, but as long as they seem somewhat anonymous, I bet you you might get a few calls. Nah, wait a, wait a minute. If they're be, calling in fine. next week, are they, are they talking to me or you? I, I don't know. I don't know, <laughs> number out there. I don't know I if I want them to on. call in. <laughs> But it seems like no. Go read the last the last one you put up there. There's 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 ladies and and gentlemen that are like, oh, great interview. Oh, those radio guys are a holes. Who are they? They they're all down right, there. All right. they're, 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 they're they're pushing the note of of anti science out there. All right. Like we, like we, they work for Mark. He's paying them. Again, I, I will send the checks. I promise. I absolutely. Promise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. All right. All right, Mark. Hey, take care of yourself, dude. Maybe we'll maybe maybe we can talk next week. Okay. Talk to you soon. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Uh,